Hi, welcome to today's edition of Tech Curious. The topic of today is, how does the Android operating system actually work? Now the Android operating system is organized into the following images. 1. Bootloader. 2. Boot image. 3. System image. 4. Data image. 5. Recovery image. 6. Radio image. These images are stored in the flash memory, which is obviously non-volatile. This ensures that even on switching off the device, they are still protected. Most people call flash memory as ROM, because it's used like a read-only memory. However, it can still be rewritten, for example, during Android operating system updates. During the device startup, the microprocessor executes the bootloader to load the boot image to RAM. This ensures quick access. The boot image comprises the kernel and RAM disk. Next the microprocessor executes instructions and page pressions of the system and data image as needed. The radio image resides on the baseband processor, which connects to the radio hardware. Note that the processing hardware architecture is similar across devices. 1. Microprocessor unit, bracket MPE. 2. Synchronous Dynamic Random Access Memory, Bracket SD RAM or RAM 3. Flash Memory Bracket ROM The screen size is given in pixels. However the dots per inch, bracket by vary depending on the physical screen size. All smartphones also offer a CMOS image sensor camera, Blue Etube and Reefy. The biggest differentiator of any device is usually the capacity as well as the performance of the device. Nevertheless, some devices nowadays offer 4G, some FM radio, video output bracket HDMI or micro USB and a front-facing camera. Many devices come with a micro-secure digital bracket micro SD and a slot. This provides additional storage for data and extra application data. Nevertheless, until Android 2.2, the apps themselves could be stored only on the flash memory, otherwise known as ROM. Cheers!